Hello everyone, I hope you're doing great. My name is Melinton Navas, and I will be get guiding you through the course Introduction to Cyber Threat Intelligence. I hope you are as excited as I am to start this course. This video will be an introduction to the Cyber Threat Intelligence course and a little bit of myself, so you know more of the person you're going to be listening for the next hours. So let's start. Okay, so who am I? What a philosophical question. <laughs> well, as I said before, my name is Melinton Navas. I'm from Guatemala, a little country in Central America, just a bit below Mexico. I have been in the security field for around eight years, and for most of it, I have been a penetration tester. Currently, I am a CISSP, CEH, and OSCP certification holder. I have been a college teacher for almost four years now, I created and have been teaching the course of ethical hacking in the computer science career program at my university, and also teach the information security system course in the same university. Regarding my hobbies, in my free time, I often enjoy writing poetry, or actually any kind of narrative. I've been practicing boxing for more than a year, and last but not least, I enjoy very much hitting the gaming consoles every now and then. In my social media and gaming platforms, you can find me either as Dark Knight 7 or Melinton 7. You can find me and have a little bit more detail of my experience in information security at my LinkedIn account. Also, you can validate my identity using the crypto from everyone, air quotes, social media, and share an encrypted message with me through my PGP public key. And if you have any questions, comments, or would like to do a follow-up regarding any of the subjects discussed in this video, you can email me at melinton.navas.7 at gmail.com. I'll be happy to chat with you. Okay, about this curse. Cyber threat intelligence is one of the most exciting subjects in cybersecurity. So why should you take it? Well, you should take it if you're curious and you're looking to improve the security strategy in your organization, or if you're looking to learn how to keep up with the actual hackers out there, what threats are coming, what vulnerabilities are being exploited, what new attack schemas are actually happening around you, or if you believe that just setting up firewalls and monitoring is not enough to be in a good position regarding cybersecurity, and you would prefer a more proactive approach. And if you want to know the secrets behind data collection and all the information available on the internet for you to use and prepare yourself for any type of attack, well, maybe not any type of attack, but those that are more likely to happen to you or your organization. Yeah, cyber threat intelligence will tell you that as well. Okay, but what do you need to know before entering this course? I'm not going to lie to you. There will be theory concepts that I need you to be familiar with, like confidentiality, integrity, and availability. And when are each one of them important, and when you should protect them. But fear not, not everyone will, will be theory. It is preferred that you have some experience with some technical approaches towards cybersecurity, just as network protocols and data flow, incident response, network monitoring, vulnerability and exploits, etc., etc. Well, I have found some pretty interesting concepts and material from these resources. I rec I recommend you to follow these materials along with this course or as a complement of it. The first source is a link to a threat intelligence handbook written by Record the Future. Record the Future is an organization focused entirely on helping and providing cyber threat intelligence services. A lot of concepts and material discussed in this course are referenced in that book. And because of the orientation of that book, there are very interesting additional concepts that may help with implementation of a cyber threat intelligence unit in an organization. The other two resources are a book that I have personally used to gain knowledge regarding the keys to have present in a cyber threat intelligence implementation, and what should be taken into account depending on the organization's objectives. So, who is the curse's target audience? Well, I'm pretty sure that to begin with, anyone interested in the topic will really enjoy this course. But 
more specifically, this course is directed to all the security people exploring new areas, new approaches, and new techniques in cybersecurity. Those who are looking to get technical experience in cybersecurity threats, indicators of compromise, compromise, vulnerabilities, threat groups, and how to identify all of them. People looking to acquire state-of-the-art knowledge regarding cybersecurity, and with that, career advancement in your current or other organization. Okay, now let's dissect this curse. In the first model, we're going to introduce your instructor and talk to you about what you're going to learn, what do you need, which are the models in this course, and a very brief introduction about what is cyber and threat intelligence, basically what you're looking right now. In the second model, we will review the history and origin of the term intelligence, how it has grown throughout the years, and what it has become to this day. Also, we will have a brief introduction to some of the units that have the most interaction with cyber threat intelligence. The third module will show us how a cybersecurity strategy can adopt an intelligence perspective and lay on the cyber threat intelligence unit to fill most of the information needed to apply multiple strategies according to the business objectives. The fourth model will be one of the most demanding models, as we're going to, uh, going to dive into detail about three of the most crucial units that require cyber threat intelligence services and how they use that information to the organization's advantage. In the fifth model, we're going to discuss a little bit about fraud prevention and how a currently directed cyber threat intelligence will allow us to detect when an exfiltration has occurred and none of the technologies in place has been able to detect it. The sixth model will dive into the cyber threat intelligence unit and what frameworks are available to make it work. The exciting part of this module is that the framework that we're going to review the frameworks that we are going to review are not mutually exclusive. This means that more than one can be used at the same time, enhancing the cyber threat intelligence capability as much as possible. In the seventh model, we will have all the tools available to direct our implementation and get the most out out of a cyber threat intelligence unit in a given organization. This model will give the keys that one has to keep in mind when establishing all the processes, procedures, and especially the directives used in cyber threat intelligence lifecycle. The eighth model will start giving a conclusion and closing the information needed to, under to understand all the cyber threat intelligence objectives, capabilities, goals into an organization. And last but not least, the ninth and last module will give a brief summary of the most important topics discussed throughout this course and will cite the reference used in this course, hoping you are taking with you a different perspective about cybersecurity and cyber threat intelligence. So, that's it. We're done with the episode zero of Introduction to Cyber Threat Intelligence. Thanks for joining. See you in the next video.